Good morning, Lemon Grove Academy Wolves. This is Mr. Ozer and the Principal Corner. Good morning, LGA. Miss Casillas here. All right, so we got some news for you. Hope everyone's having a great start to the week. Hope you had a great weekend. We're filming this on Friday, so we're not sure who won the Super Bowl. By now, you do know. The Denver Broncos are world champions. They have just won Super Bowl 50. Um, so we got some important information, but we want to do a shout out first. Shout out to all the students who came after school on Wednesday to participate in our annual spelling bee contest. Takes a lot of courage. I know there was some extra credit kind of thrown out there, but kudos to all of you for being a part of that special day. I would like to congratulate our top three winners. Uh, way to go, Lucy Ortega taking first place. Seventh grade student Lucy Ortega, nice. at a girl. And then we have Jason Vincent and with second place and we have Renee Best finishing third. So congratulations again, especially to those top three students. Sounds like you had to go up to like 12 rounds to determine who the winner was. Um, wish I could have been there, definitely was thinking about you guys, but we were out at Mount Miguel's um, field trip wrapping up that, that special experience. Great, so big congratulations. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed, Lucy, as you go on to the county spelling bee. And, um, do want to make a couple of reminders for our students. So before school, we need you to be very safe and where your family is expecting you to be. So skate park, off limits, we'll come over and we'll um, remind you if you are over there. So um, your family is expecting you to be on campus eating breakfast. So um, please make sure that you do that. All right. Got Looking ahead um, to the following Saturday, the 13th of February, we're going to have another uh, community service day here at LGA. Students, by the end of May, right around actually the beginning of May, you'll need to have all five hours completed. So first semester was the minimum requirement of three hours. Now we're kind of closing things up and you have a great opportunity to get all five hours in if you attend on Saturday, February 13th from 9 a.m. to 11. So those last two hours will be available for you to help beautify our school. We'll have a variety of different projects for you to choose to be a part of. Um, anything from maybe like gardening, weeding, um, wiping down walls, windows. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to throw you Kind of the tasks and the tools to, to take it on but if you're interested in concluding your final two hours of um, that service learning um, requirement please consider coming out on Saturday the 13th and hang out with us and your friends and um, give back to the school. Good way. We'll have some breakfast items um, to get you started and it should be a great morning. Absolutely. They're always fun. And finally, students, we need to make sure we're getting to school on time. Um, super important just to help start your day off on the right foot. School, uh, the gates open at 7.50, so you can be arriving to school as early as 7.50. Um, grab your free breakfast. If you're not really hungry at the moment, maybe just grab it, put it in your backpack, save it for later. Um, since we're no longer passing out breakfast up here in the office, just um, good to have that option if you need a snack but we need you here in your seat by that 820 bell. So um, at the very latest, be here by 815 so that um, you're not getting marked tardy. It definitely impacts your citizenship grade and it just kind of sets you off on maybe a little bit added stress and, and we don't want that for you. So um, develop that positive habit in being punctual and on time. Get to school here, um, maybe ideally between eight o'clock and 815. All right, talking about keeping our school clean, so we do have the service day coming up on the 13th, but every day should be a service day. So um, make sure that if you have trash, it's getting into the right bin. So we have the blue recycling bins up now, uh, lots of them throughout the campus. So anything that is paper or plastic or recyclable needs to go into those bins. And then anything that is trash needs to go into the, the gray bins. Also, if you see a piece of paper or something on, on the floor while you're walking from class to class, hey, do a good deed. Pick it up and get into the right 
bin. I know when I'm walking around the campus, if I see something, I pick it up. Um, just because, to me, it's very important to be in a nice, clean, attractive area. And um, all of us working together can ensure that we're doing that. So um, do your part and um, expect everyone else to do their parts and, and we'll be fine. Especially during lunch. Especially during lunch, right. And make sure that breakfast and lunch, you are not leaving your trash on the table because um, it's no one else's responsibility to pick that up. If it's yours, make sure that it gets to where it's supposed to be. Um, this week we do have the next round, the inspect test for language arts and math. So work really hard on it. Um, really apply yourself. Um, you don't want to cheat yourself by, by not giving a 110% effort. So, um, so do your best on it. Um, we'll get the results back and then your teachers and I will meet and we'll go over the results and we'll see how you are progressing. So um, make sure you're checking power score. Make sure that you're getting your grades exactly where you want them to be. We had a lot of students really excel last quarter and um, lots of 4.0s and high three three point something um, grade point averages. So I'm really, really proud of all of you. So um, keep working hard. All right. So anything else, Ms. Casillas? That's a lot of information for you, LGA. All That's right. That's it for me. Make sure the Weekly Howl, you're reading it, you're getting it to your family. That's the way your family is going to stay abreast of everything that's happening. All right. That's the Principal's Corner. Have a great week.